Today we're going to be talking about physical therapy modalities. In specific, we're going to talk about thermal therapy treatment. And in order to convey when this is most appropriately used, we're going to use a patient scenario. The patient's name is Jake. He's 17 years old and he suffered from a patellar fracture while playing football. He was immobilized in cast for six weeks and upon removal of the cast, the patient was limited in their knee flexion. Um, the patient would be at the end of the proliferative stage of healing and in the initial stages of maturation. And um, this would be an appropriate time to use the thermotherapy treatment as long as there weren't any contraindications or um, precautions that became an issue. So some of the contraindications involved with thermotherapy treatment are things like impaired sensation, impaired circulation, conditions like thrombophobitis and peripheral vascular disease, or if they had malignancy. Uh, you wouldn't want to use thermotherapy treatment with acute injuries. And some of the precautions we'll need to consider are things like if they have thermal um, regulatory issues or if they have open wounds or counter irritants applied to the area. So these are all things we'll want to talk about with Jake or review in his chart. And um, in order to further convey uh, the application of this kind of treatment, we'll go ahead and go into the clinic and demonstrate how to get the informed consent and apply the thermotherapy modality. So we're here in the clinic with Jake and we're gonna apply the heat pack. So I have this ready for him here. It's important that you have the right amount of towel layers or you could, it could lead to burning the patient. So typically you'll wanna have about six to 10 towel layers. The sleeve for the uh, heat pack itself is about two towel layers. So I have this ready for him. So we're just gonna go through talking about informed consent with the patient as well as precautions and a little bit of giving him some background for this type of therapy. All right, Jake, so we're gonna go ahead and move on with therapy and apply a, a heat pack to the area. So in order to kind of mobilize that, that area better, um, heat will help with that as well as reduce some of your pain. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'll have you lay on your back. And I'm just gonna kind of inspect your skin here and make sure that there aren't any issues that we should um, avoid this treatment for. Does that feel okay? Uh -huh. Are you comfortable? Yeah, it feels great. Okay, so it's gonna start out, probably won't be too hot yet, but it's probably gonna get pretty hot. And um, just let me know if it's ever un too uncomfortable for you. You definitely wanna make sure that it doesn't lead to burns. So if it is feeling like it's burning or it's too hot, go ahead and ring this bell or call for us. But if for whatever reason nobody answers or anything, just go ahead and take that heat pack off onto the floor um, and I'll be checking on you as well. I'll be back in here about every five minutes. We're gonna do this treatment for about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. does that sound okay? Yeah, it sounds fine. Okay, well, I'll have a timer set and um, I'll be back shortly to check on you. Okay. Okay, thank you, Jake. Okay, how'd things go? That was a great 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, perfect, it just flew by. Uh-huh. Okay, let me uh, take this off for you. I'm just gonna inspect the skin here to make sure there's no irritation or anything I should be aware of. And it looks like you're good to go, Jake. We're gonna go ahead and move on to exercises and things. Is there anything else, um, any other questions you have about this or anything? No, sounds good. Okay, perfect. Thank you.